Sushila Chauvi, Assistant Professor in Piani Group of Colleges, welcomes you on the behalf of GrowKPU.com. Today I am go going to describe about myocardial infarction. So what is myocardial infarction? It is the death of myocardial cells in the heart due to lack of oxygen supply and due to lack of nutrients. So there are many etiological factors which causes myocardial infarction. So, First of all, the atherosclerosis. In this, a thrombotic plaque is formed in the coronary artery and which occluded the coronary artery completely and the blood supply to the myocardial muscle is stopped. That's why it causes death of myocardial cells. And second one is thrombus formation in the different arteries and last one is hypertension. So these are the etiological factors of the myocardial infarction. Second one is clinical manifestations of the myocardial infarction. So first one is when the attack of myocardial infarction is felt by the patient, a sudden chest pain is felt and secondly the jugular vein is distended and elevated blood pressure is seen and shortness of breath and dyspnea and vomiting and nausea are also reported in the myocardial infarction patient and next one is pulmonary edema and decreased urinary output is also reported in this disease. So how we evaluate or diagnose the myocardial infarction? So there are many techniques to evaluate or investigate the myocardial infarctions. So first of all the positive clinical manifestations. So if these uh, signs and symptoms are present in the patient, so it indicates the presence of myocardial infarction. And second one, we can take the patient history about the present disease and about the previous diseases or family history of the cardiac diseases. And third one is ECG. So ECG is taken within 10 minutes when the patient feels pain in the chest or when the patient arrives in the emergency ward. And next one is echocardiogram. It is used to uh, evaluate the ventricular function. So how the ventricles function in the heart. And last one is laboratory tests. So laboratory tests are used to evaluate the uh, volu uh, sorry, evaluate the uh, quantity of cardiac enzymes and cardiac biomarkers and next one is how to manage the myocardial infarction so first of all we have to relieve the pain and anxiety so to relieve the pain and anxiety analgesic medications provides to the patient and the drug of choice is morphine sulfate and second thing is to dissolve the thrombolytic plague so thrombolytics are used to dissolve the thrombus and the drug of choice is heparin. And third thing is angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors are used to decrease the blood pressure and to increase the urinary output. And last thing is when the thrombolytic therapy is not working properly, so one surgical intervention is taken which is called percutaneous coronary intervention. It is used when thrombolytic drugs are not responding properly. So in this procedure, the thrombus plaque is removed by a surgical procedure which is called percutaneous coronary intervention. So this is all about the myocardial infarction. If you want to know more about so if you want to know about more about this disease, so please visit our website www.grukapio.com. Thank you.